in the eighth book of the Nicomachean Ethics, Aristotle says that friendship is clearly necessary and splendid, but people disagree on its precise nature. Friendship consists of a mutual feeling of goodwill between two people. There are three kinds of friendship according to Aristotle. The first is friendship based on utility, where both people derive some benefit from each other. The second is friendship based on pleasure, where both people are drawn to the other's wit, good looks, or other pleasant qualities. And the third is friendship based on goodness, where both people admire the other's goodness and help one another strive for goodness. The first two kinds of friendship are only accidental because in these cases, friends are motivated by their own utility and pleasure, not by anything essential to the nature of the friend. Both of these kinds of friendship are short-lived because one's needs and pleasures are apt to change over time. Goodness is an enduring quality, so friendships based on goodness tend to be long-lasting. This friendship encompasses the other two as good friends are useful to one another and please one another. Such friendship is rare and takes time to develop what it is the best kind of friendship. Bad people can be friends for reasons of pleasure or utility, but only good people can be friends for each other's sake. On the whole, friendships consist of equal exchanges, whether of utility, pleasantness or goodness. However, there are some relationships that by their nature exist between two people of unequal standing, such as a father-son relationship, husband-wife, ruler-subject, etc. In these relationships, a different kind of love is called for for each party, and the amount of love should be proportional to the merit of each person. For instance, a subject should show more love for a ruler than the reverse. When there is too great a gap between people, friendship is impossible, and often two friends will grow apart if one becomes far more virtuous than the other. Most people prefer being loved to loving since they desire flattery and honor. The true mark of friendship, though, is that it consists more of loving than of being loved. Friendships endure when each friend loves the other according to the other's merit. Justice and friendship, Aristotle says, are closely connected as both tie communities together. Since justice, friendship and community are closely related, it is far worse to abuse a close friend or family member than it is to abuse a stranger. There are three kinds of political constitutions, monarchy, aristocracy and democracy. Tyranny is the corruption of monarchy, where the tyrant looks out for his own interest rather than that of his subjects. Oligarchy is a perversion of aristocracy and democracy is a perversion of democracy but neither is as bad as tyranny. Monarchy is analogous to the father-son relationship, aristocracy to the husband-wife relationships, and timocracy to the relationship between brothers. Corrupt political institutions are like those relationships where no friendship exists, as in the master-slave relationship. Problems between friends occur most frequently within friendships based on utility. On the whole, the person who receives a service and not the giver should determine the value of that service. In unequal friendship, it is important that each person receives an appropriate benefit. A poor person cannot give money to a rich manufacturer, but can give whatever honor is within the poor person's means.